or somewhere new. Welcome back. I'm Sophia Metropolis. I'm an artist. We're not going to talk about this new location today, but if you want to know more, you can check back in next Wednesday where we will talk about this new location and how I got here and what's happening here. But you also could sign up to be one of my patrons and you can find out ahead of time, like literally right now if you want to. And that's at the link in the description. Shameless plug. Today, we're just gonna do some painting. I have a new desk, a new setup. We're gonna try some new shots, see what's going on. It's kind of a mess, but I'm gonna do what I can. I can't even see my bun. There, look how much space. I can get from the camera. That's never happened before. It's always been like super close. So yeah, today we're just gonna paint. I'm using my trusty Canson mixed media sketchbook and I'm feeling fancy. So I'm gonna use my Winsor Newton gouache and my fancy brushes, but also probably some cheap acrylic brushes. So let's do it. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Fridays about art and art related things. Let's go. Don't mind the mess. So I pulled out my paint and admittedly had no plan for how I was gonna start, but with these paints I really like to just explore color and mix color. That's one of my favorite parts about working with a primary set is that I really enjoy the serendipity in the process of mixing color. And recently I've been thinking a lot about the leaves changing and I've been seeing a lot of really beautiful vignettes and just a lot of change happening visually in the colors of the world, which I haven't seen in a long time since I've been living in California. So it's exciting to watch that. So I was really trying to kind of put down some color that felt like the vibe of that. I didn't really have a plan. I was just kind of going with the marks that this particular brush that I was using was making, which by the way, I didn't end up using any of my fancy brushes. This is only my cheap synthetic brushes. But regardless, I didn't really like how this page was coming out, but I kept trying to fix it and to see what I could do. So I added some leaves in to like give it more of that fall vibe, but I don't think it was working to be honest. But I kept going, I kept pushing the page. Ultimately, I kind of decided at this point that this was just going to be a warm up page and that I'm going to do some more. So, like I said, I've been really just feeling color recently. So I started putting down more of these kind of blocked lines. If you watched my video where I just did some stream of consciousness painting, I actually started doing a bunch of these during that video and then I just kept continuing them since then. They felt really fun and freeing and I really enjoyed them creatively. So I took a break while that dried, came back, pulled out some more paint and went in again trying that process again where I'm like creating these stripes or just these kind of natural shapes that go with the shape of the brush is usually where a lot of them are determined like how I make them is pretty much comes from the brush. So these are just some fun experiments with color to see how these colors behave when they're being mixed and I don't know, I have really been enjoying this kind of work recently, but I wasn't really impressed with these marks that I was making as I was going through this process, but I decided to just keep working it and keep trying it for a little bit. And then there's a little dance break. So then I moved on to a fourth page where I started just doing circles. And this was like a slight deviation from the lines, but still didn't really feel like the solution I was looking for. But I kept painting, I kept trying to figure it out. Eventually, I reached the point where I was thinking about how I've been doing all these abstract marks for a little while, but I haven't really done any 
kind of loose portraits that I used to like to do, just no reference, random faces. So I did a couple of those in pen over these drawings and I really like how those came out. I just was super loose with the pen and scratchy and scribbly and just kind of put the faces wherever they felt like they went. Um, and that is something I really enjoyed. I really liked how they all looked on the page. I thought it was pretty dynamic and exciting. So I'm happy that this all worked out and they look kind of cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I can't wait to see you back here next week where I can fill you in on what's happening with this room that I'm in and how I got here and what's happening to come. Sorry I look a mess. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I'm Sophia Metropolis. I'm an artist. I make videos about art and art related things. And I also just make art sometimes. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support me on Patreon. You can just subscribe. You can just watch this video and call it a day. Thank you for being here. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Sophia. I said that already. Talk to you later. Bye.